Hi friends, I am Asmitha. Welcome to my channel. Tenzin Mariko is an aspiring makeup artist and dancer. She is the first openly transgender woman in the Tibetan community. She was born Tenzin Ugain, the fourth of five sons, to Tsering Gonpo and Chai Miangzam, in Bir, a village in Himachal Pradesh. Both her parents worked as teachers at the local Tibetan school. When she was nine, she was sent to Sandrupadora Jaya Koling Monastery in Darjeeling with her younger brother. As a child, she would often steal her mother's makeup and put on her clothes. Even as a monk, she says, she didn't stop trying to look feminine. At 16, she left the monastery and returned to Dharamshala. At the time she slowly began to transition. She had been the subject of much ridicule when a video of her, dancing unabashedly at a friend's wedding in New Delhi, wearing women's clothing and a wig, had gone viral amongst the Tibetan community on WeChat. Having been identified as the person in the clip, a suggestion she vehemently denied at the time, she was berated by people in Dharamshala, her hometown, for what they deemed improper conduct and unbefitting a Tibetan Buddhist monk. A year later, she was standing in front of the same crowd, dressed in a long green skirt, a sleeveless white top and heels, no longer wanting to hide. Having officially given up monkhood and revealed to close friends and family that she was transgender, she wanted to come out to the wider Tibetan community. Tenzin Mariko made her first public appearance as a performer at the 2015 Miss Tibet pageant in Dharamshala. She danced to a medley of Bollywood hits at the beauty pageant. As soon as I stepped onto the stage, the entire venue burst into cheers. Everyone was screaming once more when my performance ended. I felt good that night. I felt relieved, she said. After her coming out she was granted private audiences with a host of eminent Tibetan Buddhist leaders, including Kamapa, the second highest ranking guru in Tibetan Buddhism after the Dalai Lama. She thinks people warmed up to her because she gave up monkhood. She believes that people were upset earlier because they felt she was disrespecting her monastic vows by cross-dressing. It feels good to be known as the first Tibetan transgender, she adds. Not because it has turned me into some sort of celebrity amongst the Tibetan people, but because I have, in a small way, made it easier for other trans people to come forward.
watching this video.